three people are dead after a cargo ship crashed into a control tower in the Italian port of Genoa. The ship was thought to be heading to Sicily before the accident. As many as 10 people are still missing, that port one of the busiest in Italy. <laughs> The crash left parts of the structure leaning to one side. It's believed some may have been trapped in the tower's lift. The incident happened late on Tuesday night. A shift change was taking place at the time. Italian media have identified the ship as the Jolly Nero, operated by a Genoa-based company. There's no official word at this stage on what caused the crash. Seven people are reported missing in the water. Authorities have been using specially trained dogs to rescue them. Investigators are trying to determine the cause of that crash. Ambulances stood ready as the search continued into the dark water. One of the victims is thought to be a woman in her 30s, while the other two were male. It's thought three of those who died may have been in a lift when the tower fell. The owner of the Messina Line ship has told journalists he's devastated. New reports said the captain was being questioned by police. It's still not clear if human error or mechanical fault caused the crash, bringing tragedy to Italy's busiest cargo port. <laughs> There's a very low chance that someone is located in the collapsed part of the tower and not in the portion that fell into the water. During the night, rescuers used floodlights to search for survivors, fearing people may have fallen from the tower into the cold waters below. Officials are trying to ascertain how many casualties there are. Several people have already been taken to the hospital. The main injuries are fractures, crushed body parts and trauma. Most of the wounded have been evacuated. The cause of the crash is yet unclear. The ship is called the Jolly Nero and prosecutors have since boarded the 238 meter long vessel and opened an investigation into the accident. Uh, harbour officials saying that they simply have no explanation. They say that the uh, weather conditions were perfect for what was an absolutely routine manoeuvre. This is one of the busiest ports in Europe and uh, ships are coming and going every hour of every day and every night and there is simply no explanation yet as to why this simple manoeuvre went disastrously wrong but an, an investigation is already underway.